Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to make our own Morton's Tender Quick. It's really easy. When I first started deciding to use um, cure salts in some of my recipes like my pea bacon, my ham, and my lunch meat, um, all the recipes I found online were for uh, Morton's Tender Quick, to use Morton's Tender Quick, and I couldn't get it here. So I went online and I got a package of DQ Cure, number one, and this will work great as a substitute, but you can't substitute the pink cure as a direct substitution for Morton's Tender Quick because Morton's Tender Quick has salt and sugar in it plus this. So if you add, add, did an, a direct substitution from Morton's Tender Quick to the pink curing salt, you'd make yourself very, very sick, if not die. So all these measurements are made by weight okay and it's really important to make them by weight because some salts are coarser than others all right so let's get started okay so here we have our little scale and i'm going to put this i don't know what this is 13 ounce jar quart jar on here i'm going to turn it on and i'm going to put this on here and this is 11.9 ounces so I'm going to just tear that off so that it's down to zero. And the first thing we need is one pound of pickling salt. The reason we do pickling salt is because they have no additives. One pound exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw that in my KitchenAid bowl. Then we're going to put this back on and now what do we need? We need eight ounces of granulated sugar and <clears throat> I know I'm putting DQ curing salt in this folks but I still want to keep things as organic as possible so I am using organic sugar that's the only kind of sugar I have in the house other than brown sugar and nine times out of ten I make the brown sugar with organic sugar and molasses so there we go eight ounces of sugar now we want two ounces of Instacure. Now folks, this stuff is actually really dangerous. There's a reason they color it pink, so that people don't mistake it for sugar or salt, because it, taken directly, this stuff can be deadly. There it is. I always keep this in a jar and way up high so that nobody accidentally grabs it. So here we go. There it is. There it is. Let's go over to the KitchenAid. And you know what, folks? I don't like the way this is mixing. I don't like the consistency. It's too coarse. And how are you going to get a proper consistency if some is coarse and some is fine? So I'm just going to zap this stuff with the coffee grinder before we mix it. And you don't have to grind it really hard. You don't want to powder it. You just want everything kind of consistent. Much more consistent. Uh, yeah, I'm liking that. All right, when I have this all kind of ground to the same consistency, we'll be back. Oh yeah, that's much better. When I say I wanted the consistency to be right, if you've got coarse salt, hang on, I'm going to get this in the jar here. If you have coarse salt, your smaller salts and sugars are going to go to the bottom. They're going to sift through the coarseness. So that's why I decided to hit them, hit this with the coffee grinder. And there it is. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, a homemade replacement for Morton's Tender Quick. Let's call it Homestead Quick Cure. Yeah, it's easier when you make it yourself.
Take care. God bless.